Then you get into the raw, right, the raw story, the research and analysis wing, the Indian Intelligence Intelligence Organization. Everybody knows the ISI. They've been demonized. U.S. media have never talked about the raw, R-A-W. Raw deal is what you're going to get from them. And they're into going into Afghanistan, picking up crazies there, Mujahideen, whether they are, uh, Taliban fighters, and getting them into Pakistan so that they can essentially wage armed civil war against the Pakistani government. So those guys are terrorists, but not the way you'd normally think. Now, the raw leads us then to this world of Hindu terrorism, and this is very, very big. U.S. media never interested in this stuff. Um, happens every week, but you... Happens every week. But and you never hear about it. In particular, the guy that you're mentioning, right? I think this guy, Karkare. Karkare, the anti-terrorism boss of Mumbai, I think is a hero of our time. Who busted a Hindu uh, extremist group army captain really staging the last train bombing, blaming it on Muslims. Right. So he goes in there with his commanders. They all get killed in the first minutes. It's, it's clear that there were snipers who were given the specific task of eliminating Karkare and three, four, five of his closest associates. Because he'd been on the news saying the government staging the terror. Saying in particular that this was being done through Hindu patsies, not Islamic, but Hindu patsies. This is a big thing. There's a whole world of Hindu terrorism that they want to deny. And he's killed say, during the melee. Hold, hold, hold on, let's continue. So this is Karkare. Now, he had been investigating the uh, Malagan massacre. The Malagan massacre, 2006, 37 dead. And he had been saying, look... It's not clear that these were Muslims. It's not clear that these were Pakistanis at all. It looks to me more like it's this world of Hindu terrorism. And he bossed the army Hindu captain. Terrorism. He bossed the army captain. And the the uh, the BJP candidate, the the basically the shadow prime minister of the BJP, the Hindu ex nationalists, I guess, had come out saying this guy should be fired. There were calls to fire him, and he was getting before death threats. He was killed. Right. So now, in the middle of this event. It looks like there's a special team that has only one task, which is to kill him, because they knew that he would be in the front rank of the people doing something about it, whereas the other Indian forces... I, mean, now, I want to warn good cops. Hours. I want to warn good cops and good FBI, like John O'Neill, who they killed in 9-11 and threw in the building. Every time we see an op, even Waco, some cops exposing Clinton that had been uh, state police exposing him who'd gotten a BATF job, you see the BATF go in the window and they climb in and they shoot their own men. So they love to use operations to kill their own people inside the operation to tie up loose ends. Go ahead. And this, this brings us to the, to the world of, of uh, wh where do you get Hindu terrorists? Uh, again, this BJP is the governing party. They'll probably be back in power soon. But then there's this other thing called the RSS, Hindu extreme nationalists, racists, Hindu superiority The ones types. that killed uh, Gandhi, because, Gandhi. He wouldn't, because he wouldn't go to war with Muslims. And uh, I guess the shorthand for this would be Hindu fascism. And what we're getting, you see, Obama is attracting a kind of a fascist international made up of the lunatic Saakashvili, Polish and Ukrainian extremists, and now we're getting Hindu fascists becoming the great friends of the United States. And your future is going to be hostage to a bunch of Hindu fascists under the Indian-U.S. nuclear deal. And that's what this guy Karkari was a threat to that. because he was They didn't just kill him, they killed four other chiefs. His whole they, staff. They wiped his whole team out in separate groups. They're mm. all picked out and triple-tapped in the right. chest. 